Hello everyone, this is Silver Hyena. This is actually the part two of my little trip to Daniel Smith. First video was my trip through the store, which was awesome. And now it is time to share with you all the goodies I got. Ah. So, what are we waiting for? Alrighty, let's get started. Hair is still messy. Aha, we have our, the all-powerful receipt. Always fun. And it fell off the table. I'll get that later. So, okay, let's see here. These are watercolor paint pans. And these are for a little crafting project. I plan to do a video on later. Sometime later, hopefully I will get to it eventually. We have Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens, a black and white set. I plan to do a video with these. I'm really looking forward to that. And to go with those, I thought it'd be really interesting to try out some toned paper. This one is Strathmore. It's, it's tan paper. I'm usually always using white paper. So I thought it would be interesting to branch out, and this is toned gray. It's got a really interesting feel to it. It doesn't feel like your average sketch paper, which is what I like about it. So it's time to try some new things, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how those white pens work with this. Sorry, just gotta move some stuff on the desk that is off camera. All right, we have another pad of marker paper, which I am getting addicted to this. Seriously, this is a good thing to have. I love this stuff. It's so smooth and it's got a really nice thickness. It will hold a lot of marker abuse. Yeah, because it's like, I, I layer on, I layer it on like five, six layers on average. <laughs> and these are something else that I really want to try with the toned paper. These are metallic colored pencils by Faber-Castell. Got a 12 pack. Again, another video for another time. I am really looking forward to this. What, 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 what am I saying? I'm looking forward to it all. That's why I picked up all this stuff. <sighs> this, this was just too awesome to pass up. It is an eraser pencil. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, like it, it's for a precision erase and it even has a little brush. Maybe I can finally brush my hair. Oh, wow, it actually works pretty well for that. <laughs> Who'd have thought? My hair, it likes to go all over the place. I'm telling you. And this is some gouache. I seriously want to try this out because I didn't have any gouache when I did my little watercolor experiment. And I know that some white gouache can really help out with those highlights and everything. So I, I really want to try this out. This is the Titanium White by M. Graham. So this, this stuff, this tiny bottle here, this tiny little tube was like 10 bucks all on its own. Hopefully it was worth it. If not, it was a $10 gamble. And a Copic marker that was on clearance. I told you I was gonna get one of these. Look at that, got that nice chisel nib. Beautiful blue. This is a frost blue. And look at the number B00, it's boo. So when people ask you, oh, what color is your frost blue Copic? You can just say, boo. Oh my gosh, this has a bullet nib. This doesn't, this isn't the, your standard brush nib. At least it doesn't look like it. That, that looks more like a bullet nib. Oh well, a Copic is a Copic. And I got this one on clearance. So there. These things are starting to really grow on me. One for when I abused my other one to death, and this one is gonna be for my little travel kit. These are kneaded erasers. 
for comparison, these are brand spanking new. Used. <laughs> Look at what I've done to this thing. <sighs> Poor little eraser. But it's doing its job. All right. Ah. Here we have color erase color pencils. Pack of 12. So these are, e well, as the name suggests, these are erasable color pencils, which I have been very curious to try. So I figure, why not? I would, I would love to do more sketching in color, so I figure we'll give these little babies a whirl. All right, so now uh, we're, we're almost getting to the end. It's almost like getting to the last Christmas present on Christmas Day morning. We have a Signal Uniball White. This stuff, oh my gosh, this was magical. I love this. I already have some white gel pens, uh, but this one has just booted all of those aside. <laughs> I mean, like this thing, it writes so smooth. What's really nice about Daniel Smith is that they have a lot of little stations set up where you can try products before you buy them, which is really nice. So that way you know that if you get a pen or a marker or something that you can kind of give it a quick scribble and make sure it works before you pour your hard-earned cash into it. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, the bag is empty. I knew that. And last but not least a little assortment pack of artist trading cards by Strathmore. We've got two sheets each of vellum bristol, smooth bristol, canvas, textured, watercolor, and then one sheet each of illustration, board, and acrylic. So there's 12 total, sh total sheets, 2.5 inch by 3.5 inch. So looking forward to playing around with those too. Well, that's it for today, I'm afraid. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, this is Silver Hyena signing off and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!